Hey guys, it's Cam. Today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over a little bit of what dry needling is. It's one of those questions that people come in here asking me all the time. Uh, one of the big questions is, uh, is dry needling acupuncture? Um, so there are actually two different practices. Uh, what I like to tell people is that we use the same tool. So the same needle that we use, but the application is different. With acupuncture, um, what you're aiming for is to release the or improve the flow of chi through the body. Um, and you can target this by looking at the meridians and how they function through the body. Uh, but for dry needling, like I said, we use the same tools, so exactly the same needles that um, acupuncturists would use. But the application is a little bit different. So what we do is we actually take the needle and we put it into the tight bands of muscle. So you might have gone for a physio before, you might have gone for massage therapy before, and and you might have felt or heard the therapist say that, oh, well, I feel a little bit of a tight band of tissue here, or, or I guess a muscle knot. Um, so what they're aiming to do is try to help you release that tension through that muscle knot, because when you release that tension through that muscle knot, it really helps you improve your range of motion, reduce your pain, helps you improve the blood flow to that area of the tissue that they're releasing. So with dry needling, we actually are aiming to do the same thing, but with the needle, we actually go a little bit more in depth to the muscle. So rather than pushing through the skin, the fat tissue, uh, the fascia, we're actually going directly into the muscle with the needle. So it can be a little bit uncomfortable for some people, but for the most part, it's actually not too, too bad. What I have here is one of the needles that I use. Um, it's a really, really thin needle. Like I said, it is the same needle that we use for acupuncture. So I can show you here, it's a really small needle. And as you can see, it's really, really thin as well. So unlike syringes that you might get at the hospital that the nurses jab you with to get blood or to inject you with something, these needles are very, very thin. Uh, so with the needle, again, what we do is we feel around your muscles. So, and what we look for are these tight bands of muscle knots or tight um, trigger points as we like to call them. And once we find that trigger point, we put the needle into the muscle. We might move it around a little bit. We might just leave it there to allow the muscle to relax. But ultimately what we're trying to do is we're trying to release the tension through that muscle belly. And just like you would with massage or any other kind of manual therapy, once you release that tension through that muscle belly, you might feel the immediate change in terms of range of motion, pain, and even function to your um, affected muscle. Another big question what I get with needling is, is it sore? Um, I answer that with saying it's different for everybody. Some people might have a higher pain threshold or pain tolerance. Uh, some people might not have as much of a pain tolerance. So we can always explore other options in terms of physiotherapy care for that tight muscle that you might be dealing with. Um, but for the most part, I would say it doesn't hurt too, too much. Some people actually prefer me using needles than my hands on them. Yeah, that's what we do with the needles. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in our comment section there. Um, if you have had experience with needling before, please uh, leave your share your experience with anyone who might be interested in trying kneeling and doesn't know anything too much about it. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification if you want to see more future videos on dry needling. Uh, in the meantime, here's a nice little video of me kneeling my own arm. Um, yeah, it was fun. Thanks!